Maharashtra polls are just around the corner with voting set to take place on 20th of November and counting on 23rd of November. Now, the state's assembly elections are expected to be a thrilling contest with the Maha Vikas Agadi coalition comprising the Congress, the Shiv Sena UBT and Sharad Pawar's National Congress Party looking to replicate, remember, their Lok Sabha success. Now, in an exclusive interview with Times Network, Aditya Thakre, Shiv Sena UBT's worldly candidate and son of former CM Uddhav Thakre, has exuded confidence and backed his father to become the Chief Minister once again if the Maha Vikas Agadi comes to power. Now, when questioned about potential opposition from Sharad Pawar in the Congress, Aditya emphasized the importance of Alliance Dharma. He also took a drive at his challenger, Milan Deora, saying that if Deora has the courage, he should relinquish his Rajya Sabha MP seat. Let's listen in. See, I'll tell you, um, we had clarified this twice before also. Frankly, this is not a personal battle. This is not a battle for personal ambitions. This is not because I want to post or my father wants to post. Uh, at the age I am at, you know, I could have chosen to sort of step away from politics and do something at a different level, uh, looking at the dirty politics that is going on around. And I chose to start, stick on because, frankly, I believe that somewhere we need to get into this muck and clear it out. We need to have better politics. We need to have political stability. Uh, a lot of political parties are fighting over the past. We need someone who fights for the future. And um, again, like it is about your commitment to the state. It is about how the state goes forward. I don't trust Ekna Chinde or his gang of thieves to uh, be taking our state forward. I don't trust the Maharashtra hating BJP to take our state forward. So frankly, this is not about a personal post. My father and I both have made it very, very clear that yes, the surveys indicate that the person Maharashtra trusts very, very openly and clearly is Uddhav Balasev Thakri in all party surveys and all channel surveys and trackers, everything. Having said that, this is about Maharashtra Hit. This is about the goodwill of the people who will elect the MVA and they will choose the voice uh, from the MVA to lead Maharashtra. Are, is the Congress Party or the Sharad NCP accepting Mr. Uddhav Thakri as... See, I'll tell you what. Are they, are they going by this I'll tell you what. Frankly, uh, we're not even going by what we believe or they believe or someone else believes because finally at the end of the day it will be about the majority uh, majoritarian government that will be the MVA the majority with, will be with the MVA and the MVA will choose it finally it's about listening to the people and that's what we are going with uh, Worley definitely is going to be a crucial contest for you last time it was relatively easy Milindira, last time also was Milindira, crucial do you see him as a challenge? look last time also it was crucial this time also it's crucial next time also it will be crucial because finally no election is to be taken lightly. If you're humble enough, you have to accept the fact that the people will vote looking at your worth. And your worth is always counted in the wo work that you do. So I think that is one. Uh, I don't want to speak about any candidate in particular because I've never spoken about any candidate in particular. But just one thing, I think anyone who wants to jump into the fray and is committed to the state politics, is committed to a particular constituency, must come in without the cushion of an MLC or a Rajya Sabha seat. They must show they're committed. Because otherwise, it's, it's just a game they're playing. Okay, chalo, someone's told me to contest, so I'm contest. If you have a commitment, ho, to you should come in without a cushion. Now, when asked about his cousin Amit Thakre making his poll debut, Aditya made it clear that while they share family ties, anyone supporting the BJP won't be accepted. He also accused Raj Thakre's family of conspiring against them, stating that they have never treated Uddhav Thakre faction well. Now, Aditya didn't mince words when discussing the MNS, labeling them a proxy for the BJP. Let's listen in to what he had to say. 